Hello and welcome to another video. So this video has to do with the definition of the derivative and using it to find the derivative of a function at a point. Now the most important thing about this video is that you must understand the concept of the definition. I know you know how to take derivatives out to differentiate functions, um, but I, you, you know many things, but this is the beginning. And the problem usually is that this is the introductory part of this concept of derivatives and students usually don't pay attention because they just want to go into or oh, differentiating and differentiating. But now you have to use the concept. So remember, there will be questions that will force you to use the concept of the definition to actually solve the problem. So take your time and just learn this simple thing. Why did I say it's simple? Let me show you. So the first thing you must know is that the definition of a derivative is basically the limit. So let's just write it. We know that the derivative of this function at a point A, because there has to be a point where we're taking the derivative, let's say that point is point A, is usually defined as the limit, okay? As your independent variable is approaching that point as your independent variable approaches that point the closer you get to that point the more accurate your answer will be so that's the idea what number would you get well it would be basically the function minus the value of the function when you get to that point which is f of a divided by the difference the distance between your t and that point a so remember sometimes this is x it's any variable usually we do um, t or we do x okay but just know this is the definition all you have to do after knowing this is just do your substitution now we know that a is 4 in this case because we're supposed to take the derivative at the point um, t equals 4 so let's put the numbers in here and just do the algebra that's all so at this point f prime of 4 is going to be the limit as t approaches 4 of f of t minus f of 4 divided by t minus 4. Beautiful. So what is f of t? Well, that's it. And what is f of 4? It is still this, it's just that instead of writing t, you're just going to put 4 there and simplify, and that's it. Okay, now let's, let's go. So this is going to be the same thing as f prime of 4 is going to be the limit as t approaches 4 of the function itself, which would be 19 plus 30 over t plus 1, okay, minus, um, this is going to be 19 plus 30 over, we're not going to use t this time, we're going to use a, that's going to be, but what is a is 4, that's 4 plus 1, and then we divide everything by t minus 4. So if we take a time to distribute what we have here, this is what we're going to end up with. The limit as t approaches 4 of, uh, this is going to be um, 19 plus 30 over t plus 1 minus 19 minus 30 over, oh, 30 over 5 is just going to be 6. Okay, so we're going to just write 6, and we'll divide all of that by t minus 4. Well, the next line is going to be the limit as t goes to 4. When you take care of what's on top here, what you're going to notice is that 19 takes away 19, and you have this, so you're going to have, I'm going to put the negative number in front, so you're going to have negative 6, okay, plus 30 over t plus 1, divided by t minus 4. You will start saying, can't we just plug in this number, the 4 here now? No, because if you plug in t equals 4 right now, what's going to happen is you get a 0 on top and 0 under. That means you still have some algebraic manipulations to do, so let's not do that yet. So let's go to the next stage. Now, 
What's the next stage? We're gonna try and get rid of this fraction on top, this denominator on top. We wanna bring it down, but this guy is standing alone, okay? So remember the best thing to do is to multiply the top by what you're trying to get rid of in the, in the top, which is t plus one, okay? Also multiply this by t plus one. So you wanna multiply both top and bottom by t plus one, t plus one. So you didn't change anything, you're multiplying okay that's the one so let's multiply negative six by this you're gonna end up with the limit as t approaches four of negative six t negative six times one is negative six and 30 well this is now gonna cancel this out this is gonna take this out and you're gonna have plus 30 okay um ignore the background noise you just heard the ac just came on i forgot to turn it off Okay, now, divided by, this is gonna be t minus four, and this is gonna be t plus one. Okay, so remember I told you there's still some algebraic manipulations to do? Yes, because we need to get rid of this thing giving us a zero in the denominator, and it's gonna come from the top. Now look at what you have in the top right now. What you have is negative 60 minus, that's negative 60 plus 24. So we can rewrite this as the limit as t approaches 4 of negative 6t plus 24, okay, over t minus 4, and this is going to be t plus 4. So now I can clearly see that if I take out negative 6, it's going to give me t minus 4. You see that? So I'm going to go over here, and I'll just finish the work. This is not a straight line. I'm going to fix that. I fixed it. So if we go over here, what we're going to see is that if we take out negative 6, we're going to have, uh, this is the same thing as the limit as t goes to 4 of, take out negative 6, that's going to be negative 6 into t minus 4 over t minus 4, t plus, no, t plus 1, sorry, this is t plus 1, this is t plus 1, okay, so that's going to be t minus 4, t plus 1. Okay, obviously, this will take this out like that. And what you have left will be the limit as t goes to 4, t goes to 4. Okay, of negative 6 over t plus 1. Now we can substitute without worrying about whether we get 0 or not. Well, this is going to be equal to negative 6 over 4 plus 1. That's negative 6 over 5. That is the limit of this function using the definition. Remember, if you know how to differentiate, you could have differentiated and your answer will be faster. To be negative 30 over t plus 1 squared. Actually, that's the derivative of this function using the formula. But now we're supposed to use the definition. So negative 30 divided by t plus 1 quantity squared well, where t is 4, it becomes 25, so that's negative 30 over 25. If you simplify, you're still going to get negative 6 over 5. I hope you learned something in this video. Never stop learning. Those who stop learning have stopped living. Bye-bye.